Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the domain of defense, the technology disruptors will be fueling the future development and the countries are in race to have upper edge on all these defense technologies. The aircraft technologies has evolved from third generation to fifth generation and the work has also started on sixth generation fighter jet with improved propulsion, stealth characteristic, direct energy weapon and able to operate without pilots that is completely unmanned. Turkey has also started working on Kizlema which is a very different category of UCAF described as unmanned fighter aircraft. It will be a supersonic at later stage having high degree of stealth characteristics tailored for different missions along with manned fighter aircrafts. So our today's discussion would be around unmanned fighter jets and how much India has progressed in this area. DRDO, as we all know, has gained significant know-how from Rustam program and its learning has translated into various programs such as Tapas, Archer, Archer NG and to some extent to Swift. The tech being developed for all these UAVs will drive the development of FUFA or futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft. Interestingly, the seed for FUFA has already been sown and it has taken its first flight as well. It is none other than SWIFT that is a stealth wing flying testbed program and this information was revealed recently by DRDO. So as per DRDO, SWIFT is an indigenously developed system with an objective of bridging the technology gaps towards design and development of an indigenous futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft or FUFA. This technology is the lead in for the national goal to develop FUFA or futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft. SWIFT is also a scaled down version of Ghatak which is going to be a bigger UCAF. It is being developed to prove three important technologies. These are unmanned, stealth and high speed autonomous landing technologies. SWIFT uses indigenous system for navigation, guidance and control, indigenous flight control computer and all other avionic systems. The control law and software are developed and tested in house. Talking about its specifications, SWIFT has all up weight of 1100 kg. It has wingspan of 5 meters and has a length of 4 meter. It will have a range of 250 kilometers in line of sight. The UAV has service ceiling of 6 kilometers with endurance of 1 hour. At present, SWIFT is powered by Russian NPU Saturn 36 MT turbofan engine and the plan is to replace it by Manik small turbofan engine or STFE at later stage which is undergoing test on indigenous technology cruise missile or ITCM cruise missile. SWIFT will have the cruising speed of 0.6 Mach. It will have two hard points and each hard point will be capable of carrying 50 kilograms of payload. Talking about its status, on 1st of July 2022, SWIFT took its first flight at ATR that is Aeronautical Test Range in Chitradurga, Karnataka. In the trial, it proved its takeoff and landing capabilities. SWIFT can auto take off and land at a speed of 70 meters per second. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.